Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video about my current favorites and that would be perfumes and a few other things and I'm curious about your opinion about the last one so stay till the end and if you like this type of content please uh, consider subscribing to my channel. I'll make videos about perfume, beauty and a bit of fashion, everything mixed together so um, if that interests you then have a look around my channel and my playlist. And uh, to start with, uh, recently my favorite, one of my favorite perfumes has been this one, the Zara Red Vanilla, and I, I developed new love for this perfume. This is a dupe for a La Via Belle, that was uh, obviously it is confirmed by many many people. So this perfume is very warm, very fruity, very sweet, um, and a little tiny bit spicy so um, this is really great especially now in London when we had um, a lot of uh, cold weather which was sunny and cold so um, yeah this was perfect and I'm wearing this today as well and I've just been loving it so much and then for going out I've been going out a little bit because as you know we just have been released from the lockdown partially uh, because we can go to restaurants to uh, eat outside so i've been loving this one um this is the uh, rev um by van cleef and arpels and this is a very long lasting beautiful perfume i've spoken about uh, this one uh, on my channel so I have a separate review if you're interested but uh, this has rose and it has uh, patchouli it's very very expensive smelling even though this one was a very affordable one because it's like a, some sort of discontinuation or something but I um, if you have a look on my playlist you will find the review and um, I think it's still available, but yeah, this is uh, super beautiful. Uh, this is uh, up there again with the Chanel and the Dior in terms of quality of perfume, but I grabbed it for a very good price and it's still around, I think. So um, you can check it out if you want, if you like rose, but this is not a rose perfume, but it has rose note in it, but um, it's just extremely beautiful and so long lasting, it lasted, pretty much all night well not all night but you know all evening <laughs> anyway and uh, then next up i've been loving my coconut recently because coconut perfume um recently i've noticed uh, many people are doing coconut uh, perfume videos and as you know i love my coconut so the coconut i've been loving is uh, this one is the lancome nude and this one is just such a beauty it's so sweet and uh, beautiful and it's warm again uh, so it's good for a slightly colder spring right now in london and um yeah it's just uh, so beautiful um the coconut uh, here is uh, first it starts off uh, fresh and then it becomes very warm and just it develops really beautifully on the skin so if you love coconut like me then i definitely recommend this one and some of the ladies here on youtube have been having these videos about coconut perfumes and i will definitely be uh, buying more coconut perfumes so uh, keep an eye out there will be a coconut video <laughs> at some point in the future um probably towards the summer and um yeah i just love coconut so uh, next perfume uh, which does not have the coconut but it has the um uh what's the name pineapple <laughs> it has some sort of pineapple inside but this is a super gorgeous perfume for spring as well this one has um this is um it's citrusy uh, but also it's warm it is like an everyday perfume that uh, literally many people should have i'm not saying everyone should have but uh, this is just such an all-rounder type of perfume it is uh, compared between um mongarlan um, um yeah mongarlan and coco mademoiselle um by Chanel. Uh, I have again a separate video which I'm comparing all the three 
um, uh, perfume and also with my Chanel um, Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Parfum. But um, anyway, this perfume is great for spring because it um, it's like day to evening, uh, all day, every day. It just, I love it. So I've been loving this one as well, just to wear for everyday occasions. So uh, that's it for perfumes for the moment. But I have three more things. So one more thing, which um, you're going to be slightly surprised why I'm talking about this one. But... I've noticed something uh, with my nails, so I wanted to share this with you just in case, you know, I was trying to restore my nails because after many, many years of using, um, painting my nails and doing all kinds of, uh, you know, changes of colors, my nails were very, um, yeah, just very blah, you know, and then I thought I have to stop doing the colors which you probably noticed on my videos that sometimes my nails were a bit funny looking because i was giving them a break and now it worked out so I, um, now they look looking quite nice and also i've been using um uh, these supplements and uh, the key ingredient so it's i think it's not so much about the supplement but it's about the ingredient which is the vitamin B, I think, um, and the biotin. But anyway, the combination of these ingredients um, really helped, I think, my nails to become nicer. So I've noticed a difference. So um, obviously this is not sponsored because I'm a tiny, teeny YouTuber. <laughs> so you can uh, really see, I mean, if you compare my nails from previous videos, they had a massive break from, uh, you know, the colors that I usually uh, paint my nails with, which of course I'm going to start again because more going out, so more colors, of course. But um, yeah, I've been enjoying a little break and I think this helped me. So basically, I always thought that all these supplements are a bit of a, you know, a bit of a scam, not maybe not a scam, but you know, a bit of uh, pushing and being optimistic. But I think it did something. Anyway, I'm happy with my nails. So just thought I'll share that with you in case you want to improve your nails. Oh, and uh, this one I bought from just from Holland and Barrett here in the UK. So this is like a store with um, healthy food and healthy supplements and stuff like that. And then another thing, now this one is uh, just pure indulgence because this one is um, a chocolate spread that I discovered uh, recently and I thought I'll share this with you because in case you love chocolate like me and you love um, chocolate, you know, just sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, it's instead of breakfast, sometimes I would have this <laughs> on the on the toast. But this one is like a, obviously, slightly healthier version because it does not have the palm oil. And it's like a very light, um, light one. So what I mean by light is that when you spread it, it's more fluffy i want to say it's just a very creamy and it's not as heavy as for example nutella so if you love nutella and i know many people do then maybe try this one out as an alternative and of course it's going to have lots of calories and blah blah, blah. so we should try not to eat it too much but sometimes i think it's okay so this is like a healthier alternative to to um Nutella and I think also you can find this in some um, health stores or even in your normal supermarket if it's like more of the um, you know like the f if they have like the fancy shelf with <laughs> healthy stuff this might be there uh, it's called Bayona organic or something like that they have bread as well so I've been trying it out and yeah, just love this chocolate spread. And now I have the last favorite, which I'm going to take you um, and show it to you. And I really need your opinion. So last but not least for my favorites is these skinny jeans. And now this is where the debate 
is the jury is out on skinny jeans because some people say skinny jeans are out but I think I love these uh, skinny jeans and I wanted to tell you that if you're looking for skinny jeans for spring in this uh, light wash this is like um, very very light blue then I really recommend these um, these are from Zara and they are um, in my usual size which is size 8 and um, they are obviously skinny and they look like <laughs> basically they look like they're fit for a child <laughs> but um, they are actually st really stretchy and for that reason they really fit really well so if you look for perfect uh, skinny jeans then these Zara ones would be amazing and um, yeah let me know if you are a uh, team skinny or if you're a team baggy i don't know what's the other team doing but anyway i'm team skinny so um <laughs> i just wanted to share this with you because these particular ones you will find them now on zara site they are um i think they're just called the skinny high-rise jeans i'm not sure how they're called but um uh, you'll find them um and uh yeah they are like the perfect skinny jeans that f fit so well and um yeah i just love them so much so that's it for today thank you so much for watching if you like it give it a thumbs up let me know which team of jeans you are and i'll see you very soon bye thank you so much for watching and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and uh, consider sc subscribing to my channel for more content like this and more perfume beauty and fashion videos